Hello guys, so we are going to continue the discussion with respect to the end-to-end -end machine learning project implementation. In this video, we are going to understand about how we can perform hyperparameter tuning uh, uh, considering different different machine learning algorithms. So if you remember in our previous video, what we did is that we, we created this model trainer, right? Uh, sorry, this is utils.py. Okay, we created this model trainer and in the model trainer, we uh, tried multiple algorithms and then we selected the best model and then we continued and saved the specific model. So if you probably seen the artifact, I have my model.pkl file. Now, uh, there is some good announcement, amazing announcements for you all that I just gave you as an assignment yesterday about let's perform the hyperparameter tuning, right? So today I really want to give one person the shout out who has actually implemented this. His name is Ritesh Singh. Okay. So Ritesh Singh, uh, he yesterday pinged me and he said that Krish, as you had said, I had actually implemented the hyperparameter tuning right and uh, he was able to give me the entire solution so i just open his github link and this is was his github link right and it's very simple guys. Right? see in model trainer right you have all these training algorithms now with respect to all these training algorithms we will probably create this parameters right now see he basically used all these parameters and then he called evaluate model by giving this extra parameter over here right so uh, if i probably go with respect to my solution so here are all my machine learning algorithms now what i can do i can initialize all my parameters so i will probably implement it and show it to you so here i will just copy his code okay and yes and again entire credit goes to ritesh singh so please uh, please do write a big claps for him in the comment section so this is his linkedin id you can also follow him uh, now what we can do is that see i am just copying this over here i'm pasting it over here with respect to this right so this becomes all my parameters right now the best way is that instead of taking all these parameters and writing it over here i can create an additional config file yaml file and then from that yaml file i can read it but as you as i always suggest first learn it in the baddest way and try to improve it as we go ahead right so here are all the parameters we are going to try with decision tree this is the criterion we are going to apply random forest this number and estimators you can apply you can probably apply all these things right different different uh, parameters as you want in gradient boosting you have he has basically applied different different parameters linear regression k nearest neighbor everything is pro provided over here now in this evaluate model right what we need to do is that provide additional one more parameters with respect to this so here we can create a variable which is called as param params and this param will basically given this parameter only the same params only okay so i will just write and copy it paste it over here and this will be my additional parameter that will given now if i probably go to my evaluate model so here uh, i don't have that so here i'm just going to write my param okay the additional parameter that i'm probably getting okay now uh, as soon as i get it over here now if you probably go and see his evaluate model code so which is present in utils.py okay so here you'll be able to see what he has done he has listed down all the params again okay like how we listed down all the models okay so here i'm just going to copy this line of code of getting all the params okay so for in, inside the for loop only it is so here i'll just go and paste it now i have my all the parameters over here this will be params okay and then what we do i take this particular parameter and apply grid search cv right you can also apply randomized search cv as you want right so over here uh, i will just go ahead and write grid search cv so so no need to write this code now you don't need to write model dot fit so i'll comment it down okay and uh, grid search cv obviously we have to import one more library which is called as scale dot model selection so i will import this paste it over here okay paste it over here and then we are using grid search cv then we did fit after we did fit all these parameters is not required see in cross validation i will give three or three just to start with three cross validation and whatever are the default parameter with respect to all the other things we'll try to provide that okay so this is what we have done with grid search cv and then after performing grid search cv we just need to set this parameter okay whatever model i'm basically getting uh, and then i will just try to do fit okay so after selecting the best parameter, I will just go ahead and write this one and use all the best parameters that is required. And then we'll do model fit and then all the process will be same. See, just implemented more additional number of code of lines. Uh, now we are properly good 
simple things right uh, see at the end of the day if you know this much you just need to keep on adding things so you, here we have added the parameters here we have added the valid models with additional parameter that we am trying to give then whatever best model i'll be getting all the steps will be same and i'll get my uh, best model score again a huge shout out to ritesh singh for giving this particular solution i was expecting someone or the other one couple of people gave but ritesh singh was having the best uh, implemented solution now all i will do i'll open my terminal I'll first of all save this file okay i'll open my terminal now inside this terminal what i will do i will just close this all i have to do I, and please make sure that you are always in your ve and v environment okay so guys now finally we are going to run our code with respect to all the hyperparameter tuning uh, setup okay and again uh, i have done that setup in the data ingestion if you remember all those things uh, if you have not seen my previous video definitely watch the previous video and now i'm just going to write python uh and i'll just try to run this src components this and finally data ingestion.py so my execution will probably start and this is going to take some amount of time okay just for the execution if you have a powerful laptop trust me it will happen fast but since we are performing so many different kind of hyperparameter tuning this will take time it may take a couple of minutes uh, you know because if i probably see in the model trainer this all trainings right is going to happen so guys so finally i executed this data ingestion file and uh, it took couple of minutes to execute because we are performing hyperparameter tuning the r squared that we are probably able to get is somewhere around 87% okay and if you probably check out the logs and all so here uh, i'll just reload the logs so inside this logs you'll be able to see all the steps that had actually taken okay split data this 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 save pre-processing object splitting best model found on the training and data set so finally everything is working fine now what i'm actually going to quickly do is that just make sure that all i'll try to add it up and so that i will be able to give to you the git commit all right so i'll write git commit minus m and here i'm just going to write hyper parameter training okay so hyper parameter training is done and here i'm just going to execute it done 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 great and finally i'll just start get push minus u origin to main okay so yes finally all the git commit has basically happened over here and now you'll be able to see this okay but a good huge shout out for ritesh singh who has done this implementation now you'll be able to find out the github solutions over there right so yes this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video i hope you like this particular implementation uh yes uh this was about hyperparameter tuning now as we go ahead uh we will try to implement uh the main thing that is the prediction pipeline right so in the next video this predict pipeline and train pipeline will try to complete it so yes this was it from my side i will see you in the next video thank you